Hi there, this is DJ Chambers with the Weekly Roundup for this week. Um, and this is April 18th. Hi. Um, I'm not going to talk about writing this time at all. It's just, I'm not talking about my life. Because it's impossible to talk about my life right now because I can't talk about my big secret. So, like, that my whole life revolves around that and it nothing makes sense if I can't talk about it. So, maybe I should be able to talk about it next week. So, until then, just forget about it. Instead, today, I'm going to talk about... The Vampire Diaries, which came back on television this week. Last week, I didn't know that Rain was off hiatus, and it was, and I found that out, and I was so excited that there was a new episode because it's the best thing on TV. I could talk about Rain, but I'm going to talk about The Vampire Diaries, and then I'll put it in the title, and then maybe more people will watch this video because The Vampire Diaries is more popular than Rain even though it is vastly inferior in every way, shape, and form. Okay, so, um, I wanted to talk about why I'm still watching The Vampire Diaries. And I think at this point it might just be habit. I still find the character of Damon interesting, um, especially it seemed as if he was going through a lot of interesting character arcs and becoming someone, you know, just changing and growing. But then they kind of did some weird things this season where then when he thought that when Elena was, I suppose I should say now that there are spoilers for, uh, the Vampire Diaries Season 5 in this video, so watch at your own risk. Where was I? Right, so when Catherine took over Elena's body and Damon thought that it was Elena, then he went nuts and like tried to kill people and tried to kill Jeremy and it was like weird because it was kind of like Here's all this character development that this character has gone through over all this time. And um, and then it also, it just wasn't even really all that shocking either because he's already done all these terrible things. So it's not like Damon could do anything all that really bad at this point that we wouldn't forgive him for. It's not as if, you know, I can't even think of a thing that would make me go, oh, well, I don't like Damon anymore. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know where they were going with that or why they did that. But at any rate, it just, it didn't seem to make sense. It didn't seem like after going through all of the development that he's gone through as a character, like, why would he go all the way back to that? And what was, what was I supposed to feel as an audience member when he did that? Was I supposed to be, like, horrified, like, oh, no, I hate Damon now? It's like, you know, in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, um, when they were trying to unredeem Spike, like they had done for you know, seasons and seasons of turning Spike into a nice guy. And they were like, oh crap, everyone likes him. Let's make him rape Buffy. Buffy. Um, and that was, you know, horrific and was meant to make us all realize that Spike was actually a bad guy, but it didn't work. Like, everybody was like, Spike wouldn't do that. That doesn't make sense. So it was that same kind of thing. It was like, are, are, are we meant to now go, oh, Damon's a bad guy? Like, because that doesn't make sense. And now even... Even after all this has happened, it's kind of played out in this sort of like, duh, like, it didn't mean anything way, which is typical for anything on the Vampire Diaries, truthfully. Um, they have a very cavalier sort of opinion about death on the Vampire Diaries. People just die all the time and kill people all the time, and everybody's like, eh, whatever, who cares? Human life is not sacred. No one, no one cares. Oh, and, and on top of that, people come back from the dead all the time and stuff, so whatever. Um... So I don't know. Um, I think I don't. I don't know where the show is going at this point, I, and I'm not sure that I particularly care about any of the characters. I would keep watching if I thought there was a a chance of more 
like Caroline and Stefan. I kind of want that to happen. I don't know. It seems to me like Caroline is probably the coolest character on the show, and she consistently, like, not since the Tyler story has she really had a truly interesting romantic storyline that's turned into anything interesting. Like, there was the class thing, which was really interesting, but then that just kind of got cut off with the new original show. So, anyway, why am I watching The Vampire Diaries? So, have it. Also, have it, basically. And I'm kind of interested to see where it will go from here. I think it's renewed for another season. I don't know if they'll ever, ever, like, cancel it. I think it would have to sink in the ratings, like, solo. And for the CW, anyway, they don't really even need good ratings because none of the shows rate really high. So, I don't know. Um, well, that's basically all I have to say this week. I will talk to you guys next week. And, um... Stay gold, pony boy.